We're seeing even more drama pop up in the beauty community now that Makeup Geek just made her video talking about some of the stuff that's going on that's really not cool. And a lot of people seem to think that she's talking about Manny MUA. One of the biggest issues that we face as humans is that we're constantly going into situations asking what we can get rather than give. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental health. And a huge part of this is improving your relationships. So I'm not a drama channel, but I try to take these situations going on in pop culture to try to teach you how to improve your mental health, your relationship, and your lives. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So my beautiful girlfriend, she has gotten me into all the stuff going on in the makeup community. And like, I keep making videos about this because there's so many lessons to be learned that can help you, yes you, out with improving your relationships. So my girlfriend sent me the video from Makeup Geek and I watched it and I'm like, oh my God, like this is a mess. And she touched on so many good points in this video and like, as somebody who started out on YouTube about a year ago and has been very, very lucky and fortunate and blessed with an audience like you and I've hit 10,000 subscribers in a, just barely over a year, like, I, I know what she's talking about, right? But I also, this is something that I've seen just massively around the world with human interaction and it's not just limited to these beauty gurus, all right? But anyways, something that she talked about in this video was that a lot of these big, uh, makeup influencers are like trying to get insane amounts of money to even review her products. Like just review them. Like, man, like, okay, the first thing I wanna talk about to everybody, everybody watching this video is this, never forget where you come from, all right? Those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you've probably heard me mention that I used to be a very angry person. Like, I'm not. I, I have this huge smile on my face now. I used to be very angry. My life's amazing now. But I still get these little uh, inside of me, right? And I talk to my girlfriend all of the time about what's going on in the YouTube community or social media community or just in the world in general. And she helps remind me, like, for me not to forget where I come from when I wanna do certain things. And I gotta remember that. If any of you watched my video about be the change you want to see in the world, like, that's why, right? So, like, I look at these things and they irk me. Like, I, I see it and I get it and it just, bugs me. So one of the things that I do to stay humble is never forget where I came from, right? I remember that first struggle to 100 subscribers, to 500, to 1,000, to 10,000, all sorts of stuff. That's why I do my best, my best to reply to as many people as possible, to collaborate with as many YouTubers as possible, and to just do things out of goodwill. Because I remember how much that would have meant to me when I was smaller. Some of you who know me, you know that I'm a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. Humility is a huge part of this thing. Like I constantly tell the clients at my rehab that are brand new to sobriety, that even though I have six years clean, I'm no different than them. I'm just trying to live this life one day at a time. So the next point is, she talks about how some of these people were wanting like $60,000, $60,000 for one post, right? For one Instagram post or even a, a, a video review on their YouTube channel. Like, that is bananas. Like, I'm really into, I don't know, social, some political issues and stuff. And like, $60,000 for one post, that is more than most Americans are making in an entire year. Like, what? What? Like, I remember Gary Vaynerchuk saying this, and I'm gonna talk about Gary V a little bit more later in this video, but I remember him saying like, there's not a huge difference between $5 million and $7 million. Like, there's not much of a difference. So, like, greed is just this terrible thing. And, like, something that breaks my heart is just financial greed. You see so many things. Like, with, you know, just the way that so many people are just stuck at the bottom just in our society because other people need another house, another yacht, more trips, more expensive clothes, just so many things. I'm like, oh my God, like I see this stuff and I'm like, do you know how much you can give back to the world with some of that money? Like it blows my mind. But like asking $60,000, but like Makeup Geek, like she's really hurt by this. And sorry, I don't know her actual name, but she's hurt by this because she helped some of these people and built them up. And now they're like asking for this insane amount of money and she can't even pay it. Like, because she's a smaller, you know, brand just getting started and like, 
That's crazy to me. And again, it goes back to people just trying to see what they can get rather than they can give. And listen, listen, listen. I get it, I get it. We all have bills to pay. We all have bills to pay. Like, I hope you all realize, like, I hate trying to push things on you so I can make money, but I'll be real, like, this camera costs money, these lights cost money, this little sign I keep behind me, that costs money, you know? My, my apartment, I have a kid to feed, so like, I hate doing it, but I got bills to pay, you know what I mean? But I try to do these things in a very ethical way, I never promote products or books or anything that I don't stand behind, you know? And and that's kind of a side topic that I don't know if I'll get into, but one of the issues I've seen being brought up is that influencers are trying to get paid for their reviews, which may not be honest because they're getting paid to do them, you know? And this is something that we see a lot when people start growing or what they do for the money. Like, the more money someone wants, typically their moral compass goes down. You know, they're willing to do more and more and more. And for what? And for what? Like, I hate money. I hate money so much. This is one of the reasons why I truly believe from the depths of my being that the gaming, the streaming community, like over on Twitch, is a thousand times better than the YouTube community. It's just so much better. Like, you hardly hear about any drama. You hardly hear about any beef, right? Like, I watch a lot of Fortnite streamers, and so many of them, like, they're just like, they're so happy and lucky to be where they are and all they want to do is just help each other out like yo come over here like i get to play video games for a living do you want to do it too here let me help you out like ninja is a prime example ninja is a household name like even if you're not into video games or fortnite you've probably heard about this guy ninja the biggest streamer breaking all sorts of records and he's constantly playing with just other smaller streamers and his friends and people who he's brought up with him and just giving them exposure to his millions and millions and millions of followers. Like, that's awesome. You never see Ninja saying like, yo, hey, uh, if you wanna stream with me, what am I getting out of it? Like, he doesn't ask that. He's just like, yo, come on, come along for the ride. Let's all rise up. Let's all do this for a living. And like, it's crazy because you just don't see that in the YouTube community at all. Like, it's very rare. Like, I don't wanna discount anybody because I have plenty of friends I've made in the YouTube community where like, regardless of our size or anything like that, like, we all try to help each other out. So there are good people out there. But like, I try to hope that like, nobody I know gets that place where what happens to Makeup Geek happens to me or happens to one of them, where they just start stepping on each other. Like, that's nuts. And something that I'm, I'm definitely gonna make videos about because it's just something that's really been on my mind lately is just like social hierarchies okay like people feeling better than uh other people and treating other people less than and it's like at the end of the day we're all people so like when we're looking at this situation money aside financial stuff aside you see these social hierarchies like when i was getting into youtube and I still watch videos on like how to grow your channel and how to do this stuff and you know they talk about this and like one of the things that you commonly hear is you know, don't reach out to someone to collab if they have a way bigger audience than you. And it's like, what, why? Well, here's why, because of the thing I keep telling you about. Our brains are constantly saying, what am I going to get, not what am I going to give? So bigger uh, YouTubers or bigger people with uh, an Instagram following or Twitter following, they look at your numbers and instead of saying, what can I help this person with? They're saying, well, they have a smaller audience. I'm above them, so I can't help like, man, like, I, I, I hope you guys understand like this, the underlying tone of my video. Like this video, like uh, not the video, but the channel, like man, we just need to have a lot more compassion and love and just help people out. Like I'll never forget, I will never forget. I made a video months and months and months ago about how our default, our default thinking is selfish and this guy blew up on me, but it's real. I don't have enough videos like dedicated to selfishness, but this is one of them. We're constantly thinking about ourselves. What am I getting from this situation, right? And this is terrible for relationships. I used to have terrible relationships because I was constantly keeping tabs on people. Oh, I'm gonna do this for you, you gotta do this for me, I'll do this for you. And it's like, what? Like, quit keeping score on this stuff. And let me tell you right now, I have a nine-year-old son who I really try to help with his mental health and stuff, like we meditate, we, we have talks and everything like that, and I nip that stuff in the butt, even in Fortnite. Like, when we're playing Fortnite, if any of you know that game, like, we'll be swapping weapons, and he's like, hey, daddy, I'll give you this weapon, but you gotta give me something in return, and I nip that in the butt, even in that situation, because you gotta think about if that carries over to the playground or with his friends. Nobody wants to hang out with that kid. Nobody wants to. The kid who's always like, oh, I'm only gonna 
gonna help you if you help me. Like that is a terrible way to raise your children because now what we're seeing is these beauty influencers and other people, we see what happens later on in life. They get exposed for not being too great of a person. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about today is y'all need better role models. Everybody needs better role models. Best role model out there, Gary Vaynerchuk. Let me tell you, he has this philosophy of 51-49. Give 51% take 49. His philosophy of life is constantly doing more than what he receives. Like I just watched a video he posted like yesterday. He went to like a youth center for like kids who were like in transitional homes and stuff. He went there and spoke to them. Like he probably didn't even get paid anything. When he goes out and does speaking engagements and stuff, he talks about how he loses money. Like this dude runs a company worth over $150 million, has other companies and he goes out and speaks because he wants to impact people. He always talks about how he lives his life, thinking about his legacy. And he's somebody who's trying to, he's in his words, is he's trying to make empathy and kindness cool. There are so many people who will go their entire life and not even know what the hell empathy is. 100%. You know? Um, not even know the word. Yes. Some people That's have, one of the biggest reasons I'm pushing it so hard. Yeah. You know, just by even people acknowledging a word like empathy or gratitude. I mean, dudes that were trying to kill it didn't use words like empathy and gratitude mm. seven years mm. ago. <laughs> like, like just like seeing like sleeved up like rad dudes roll up to me like, yo, kindness, dog. I'm like, <laughs> it's just so, and honestly, I genuinely believe my great legacy potentially may be that I made emotionally intelligent soft skills alpha. And I absolutely love that. Like even if you're not trying to be an entrepreneur or anything, you need to go watch his content. Like I'm so glad that somebody with so much influence is trying to help people be better people, right? Because we always have to start, like we always have to think, what can we give, not can we get? That is a terrible, terrible way to walk into any situation at all. Ask about what you can provide to people. Be nicer, be kinder, do things without expecting anything in return. Like it's crazy to me how this has just plagued our society and now we're seeing people's careers get ruined over it. Like Gary Vee always says, karma is practical. Do good things, good things happen. We're starting to see this just bite people in the butt. So like I've said in other videos, like if you gotta use karma as your guiding force, you will be in great shape when it comes to your relationships. All right, but anyways, like I know I'm a little like Ugh, about this stuff, but like greed and social hierarchies and just people being selfish is just, something that really gets under my skin because I think about how much better this world would be if more people gave rather than tried to get. But you know, what helps calm me down is the fact that you're watching this video right now. And if I could even impact one of you to start thinking just a little bit about what you can give rather than get, I think I serve my purpose, all right? But I would love to hear your comments down below. What do you think about all this stuff that we're talking about? Giving rather than getting, social hierarchies, people you know, trying to get favors and return for favors, all sorts of stuff. Leave comments down below, all right? But that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health as well as your relationships. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And a big, big, big thank you to everybody giving back to support the channel over on Patreon. You're all beautiful. And if you guys want to check out some of the new merch that we got to help pay my bills, check the link in the description below. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Give rather than receive, and I'll see you next time.